Okay, so, hopefully we're good now. Hi again. Let's get back on this ridiculous ship. And, uh, try and do something to forward this game's... Not that one. Nope. For this game's fucking progress. Maybe we can do it. That'll... Okay, yeah. We're, good. we're not sure yet. Uh... Our ship looks sort of like a shrimp. Kinda does, yeah. But with more exoskeleton. We're driving the exoshrimp. The exoshrimp. It's the name of the ship. Apparently. We're on the exoshrimp! Fucking weird music. Well, that's a lot of caves that I did not see earlier. And lunar underground passes that uh, should have been. Really? Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, where about? Oh. Nah, we're. Oh, I have not healed, so that might oh, be a Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. But look, we killed one of them one hit. We're good. I did do a bit of leveling just to try to get us where we need to be, maybe. I'm sorry, Matchsticks. I'm just gonna start putting little sticky notes on Hylee's computer saying, Heal! For the love of God! Heal! Well, we're about to see our uh, golden apple. We'll take the gold. I forget what that does, but. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you looked at that uh, menu at all quickly, everybody's levels are a lot more than what we had. Yeah. Uh, Rosa here, you can see she's learned Life 2. Huzzah. Which brings somebody back at full HP. And, uh... Very helpful, seeing as how often we die. Offensive spell, Holy. And, uh... Rydia has learned, uh, Tornado and Death. Both of which, essentially, useless to me. Because <laughs> those never work on bosses. Do they not? Because death outright kills something, and tornado puts something in a critical state, which means very low HP. Oh, so you can't so use them on So you're not going to be able to use those on bosses, which just Stardust and Moon Curtain. The fuck is a Moon Curtain? Let's As find out. As per usual, forgive my ignorance, dear watchers. Golden Apple. Oh, add 100 HP to the max. That's a nice one. Uh, what does Stardust do? Used to cast a little meteor its item magic. <laughs> Moon Curtain reflects magic spells for a long time. But Golden Apple, 100 HP to max. Uh, if you see the Soma drop right above that, as I was grinding, that's a very, very rare drop, apparently. At least in my experience, that some of the enemies give, and it adds 10 MP to max. Awesome. Both items we really want to use at some point. Other things uh, that would drop were these Artemis arrows, Forex damage against dragons. I don't care. <laughs> but we'll go here. Up to the north. And we come out here. I'm not exactly sure where the here is, but we'll get in a fight. I can come into the out now. And promptly run from it. Yep. And now we're just kind of stuck in a place that I don't want to be at anymore. So we'll go back. <laughs> oh, for the love of the cake. <laughs> and these things, those, like, the bomb palette swaps give, like, really crappy XP. It's not really worth it to fight them where I'm at now. It'll be much easier to grind on stuff later. When we have appropriate um, amounts of lube. Oh, Jesus. So first thing we're gonna go back to? Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Those things really aren't that much of a thing anymore. Ah, oh, I just got out of this fight. Come on! Ah, uh, run away. We need to get into this place, though what we're trying to do. The place we're walking on right now, you mean? The place we were walking against. Uh, somebody has sight, don't they? 
Yeah, let's use sight. Uh, how the fuck do we get there? Get where? That'd be the question. Pointing, pointing at the screen there, because there's an obstruction <laughs> there. Oh god, do we have to go through these fucking caves? That's... There's stairs there, and then stairs there. Or a cave opening, I cannot tell with it all zoomed out. It looks like stairs. But at the very least, I think this was the right way we were supposed to go, because I remember the walkthrough I read, and... No, we're not even fighting an abyss worm. Don't know what it does, don't care. Doesn't sound good. Something I haven't fought before, which means it's bad. Pretty much. Can't go left. But we need to get into the Crystal Palace for this next part, but it doesn't look like we even can. Let's, well, I guess we could go down and just go to this next thing. Oh, this is complicated. Oh, get away from that nonsense. Everybody's goddamn poison now. Fucking wonderful. It's sort of what they do. I guess. Use that because I don't have antidotes at this point. We'll go in there. just need to get to the Crystal Palace. Nah, no, I'm not fighting Abyss Worms. I don't give a shit. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. Aww. There we go. That's probably where we need to get to right up in here. Home of the Lunarians. Say again? We're now in the home of the Lunarians. Oh, it sounds very magical and mystical. Oh, it certainly is. We just got attacked by stars. Awesome. Our Thank HP and status has been restored. Probably not our MP though, because it didn't specify. What does this do? MP. Alright, so free heal point. You can grind here if you like, but there's probably, uh, honestly, better places to grind at. But, uh, we're waiting on Muffy for this fantastic voice acting she's about to give us. I'm sorry, I was stuffing steak and beer into my face. Uh, well, okay. I mean, I think that's pretty for forgivable. Where's your dick at? Jesus. Um, in between my legs at the moment, kind of tucked <laughs> back. Oh, shit, I don't know who I'm supposed to be talking to. It's an older guy, I do believe. <clears throat> Welcome! A stranger. Stranger, stranger. We do that so now, many... Now that's a party. We do that so many times every LP. Stranger, stranger, now that's a rave. Now that's a rave. <laughs> but we have this guy. What are you buying? Got ecstasy. Is it meth? <laughs> I hope it's meth. I've got a lot of meth. Do you want some MDMA? I can hook you up. Who are you? I am Fasoya, guardian of the sleeping people of the moon, the Lunarians. God, I forgot about this. Now we're going to Lunarians? The God. Correct. It's been a very long time. And probably because you live on the moon. We are people from a long destroyed planet that was between the fourth and fifth planet of the solar system. A call bullshit. All right, students. Now, which planet is that? Between fourth and fifth, what's now the asteroid belt? During the final days of our world, we built a ship and traveled to the blue planet. Venus? I was asking them to identify the fourth and the fifth planets, actually, but thanks. Oh. The journey was long. We had to hibernate for survival. The blue planet. The planet that you live on. It was Venus. <laughs> but the creatures of your planet were still evolving, so we created another moon and continued sleeping. Another moon? Where? Which moon? Because there's... It's really big! We got a lot of moons floating around. Another moon? But one of us refused to sleep, sounds, stupid bitch. Sounds like a dick. He wanted to purge your planet of all living beings so we could settle there. How awful! He 
was a brilliant man, but impatient. We tried to reason with him, but he wouldn't listen. Instead, he became bitter and vengeful. He created the Tower of Babel to give mankind the tool to destroy themselves. It's not how that really worked out, but it was then <laughs> I forced that man to sleep, but his mind was still awake. Over these eons, he became consumed with hatred increasing his psychic powers to destroy every living thing. Since he is sealed below, he uses his powers to control those with a dark soul. The Goldies is merely a puppet? Not my Goldies! My Goldies! Goldies. Who is this guy? <laughs> his name is Zemus. Really? The crystals are our source of energy. Zemus, knowing this, used the crystal's power to operate the dimensional elevator at the Tower of Babel. We're just getting stupid. Like, it just seems like they changed the plot as hard as like, they could at this suddenly, point. Like, suddenly, hard right, hard right. Hard, take a hard right. Once all the crystals are gathered, the elevator brings, brings down mankind's doom. Take a hard right, then pop a 180 with your e-brake and uh, go back to what... The original hard left would have been keep driving, wreck your goddamn car, jump out, cover yourself and jam, hump a homeless dude. Just for a bit. Just for Why fun. are we always humping homeless men? <laughs> You've said that so many times. Because they have nothing left to lose and everything to give. Womp, womp, or receive. Sad mm. trombone. I can't make a trombone noise. I wish I had a slide whistle just for LP to We're gonna go to the five and dine and get you one now. We have to. The giant, giant of Babel! <laughs> that was like three voices at once, sorry guys. <laughs> the way to the moon. Is, Is that, that the goddamn cheese fountain we traveled here in? <laughs> Suddenly we're Jim Kirk. But the rest of us aren't like that. We wanted to wait until the people of the Blue Planet were advanced enough to be able to speak with us. And then we wanted to take over their planet to share our hopes and fears, experiences, and fates. Together, our combined people could have done so much. We dreamed of that day. What about the magical ship that brought us here? It wasn't too long ago that my younger brother, Kluya, made it went to the Blue Planet. Chloe was enthralled with your world and often spoke about aiding your evolution. He built the Devil Road and gave your people the technology to build airships. Well, he violated the Prime Directive. I'm saying. He found a Mysidia and taught them legends that would make our dream a reality. However, Chloe fell in love with a woman from the Blue Planet. She bore him two children. One of them was... Big reveal. Dun 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 dun! You, Cecil. Of course! Ah, uh, what? Now I am struggling with my inner sense of self and I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna go on a clinic. I can't even. God damn it. Me? Then the voice I heard on that ordeal was your father. It was Cluia's spirit. I see now. You look oh so God. much like Cluia. When he was young. Good thing we all look like humans here, I suppose. <laughs> that voice was my father. Kluya gave you his power to combat Zumis. We must stop him. Alright, fine. For the people of the moon and of the blue planet, hurry to the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel? But it's surrounded by a barrier. I'm a ninja, I know what I'm talking about. I have powers that can neutralize the barrier. Why haven't you done this since? We cannot let the giant of Babel be unleashed upon the blue planet. I shall go with you. Okay. Lunarian Fusoya joined the party. Oh no, my whole life has been changed. Oh, I found out my dad was this thing. Oh no, my entire sense of self is going to a black hole. Oh no. He's only level 50. Complete, complete scrub. Scrub. Apparently if we go back in and then... 
There's fights to be had near here? There's a, a thing we can do? Maybe? Okay, yeah, that takes way too long. Well, it said there... Then the guy that I read there said there were, like, weird fights around those plates or whatever. But... I'll try the other side. As it turns out, I don't care that fucking much. True. Alright, well, that's cool, though. Uh, whatever. I'm probably missing them or I have to go further in. We'll find out later, because... Deuce. That's the path we have to take uh, eventually. Uh, surprise, I'm certain we. I don't know. Everybody's goddamn what poisoned again. Uh, Jesus. What are they not? What is everyone God. not poisoned? Are we almost done with this game? Can all of us stop, please, drinking antifreeze? That's really the question. Are we close to being done with this goddamn game? I'm over this game at this point, viewers. Oh my god, I'm over this game too. It has not been... I've heard praises sung of this game and... I have as well, which is why I'm it, so... It has failed to meet expectations. Massively disappointed. Though, I mean, to be fair, most people who speak highly of particular Final Fantasy games uh, speak nothing of six because they're wrong. And dumb. Everybody's like, oh, Final Fantasy VII. It was garbage, alright? Final Fantasy VII was fucking garbage. That, that to be said, I was really excited about four. Uh, Hailey had, had told me a lot about it. I uh, just remembered wrong, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I said seven was garbage because the storyline was... Womp, womp, womp. Fight me, matchsticks. I don't care. I'm a voice on the internet. I'm pretty sure we've had this discussion with them, and I we think We do every agree. RPG we fucking play. It's it's all the same. It's all the same. Suffice it to say, our next game is not going to be an RPG. Nah. I don't think. We're going to do as we normally do um, Gotta after take, an RPG, play take. some stupid game, maybe some Peacekeepers. That's really not what we do. We've done mostly RPGs, and pretty much only them. I've been trying to edge him into doing Earthworm Jim. No one wants to do Earthworm Jim. I want to do Earthworm Jim, but it really wouldn't be that entertaining for any of you. Well, I don't want to do Earthworm Jim because it's hard and I have to play it. <laughs> nah, we'll pick something else. Like, just want to take a little break from JRPGs for a while. For a while. See, just... I remember being really good at video games when I was a kid, but... The older I get, I, I think I've been coming to realize that my sense of patience was a lot longer when I was a child. So dying two, three, four, five times in a row wasn't as frustrating as it is to me now. As a kid, I was like, oh, okay, whatever, that, that's what happens. And then I would just continue to play. I think that's everybody, though. And, and that's, that's sort of what I'm, I guess I'm kind of aiming towards is, is would you agree with that do you remember how you beat the, how we beat this thing i don't me either i think oh, we just rydia has to summon shit i thought she couldn't summon shit no she's supposed to summon shit oh which one was it it was mist that actually does damage uh, so to i don't remember which one it was because what i found was not being very helpful it was just like yeah oh, rydia needs to summon stuff Holy God. Or we can hurt ourselves. I didn't hurt myself, it's just this thing still does a ridiculous amount of damage. And this is Fusia's thing. I don't know what a spirit wave is. But goddamn does he know a lot. And it said to avoid black and white magic because Behemoth can counter that very easily. Oh yeah, he counters with some stupid spell. Yeah. That just... Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> he did. Fusi is dead, which is alright. That's fine with me. Now we get to see life too. This beard spilling out everywhere. Looking like an octopus. <laughs> no. So we're just gonna fight this thing vaguely normally, I guess. Oh, 3,000. Eh? 
We should totally play Lion King next. Uh, I'm not gonna play Lion King. <laughs> I'm only mostly joking. Only mostly? Only mostly. God damn it, Fusia, really? Ah, uh, not too hard of a fight, do you just have to keep reviving the old man? Ready to gain the level, though. Yes, we do. I don't know why every time you use an item it takes you out of the fucking menu. One of the most annoying things about this fucking game. A fight we're not gonna have with a skull dragon. Nope. Lag we're gonna certainly have. Hold on. <laughs> 